Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So I'm going to show you just a couple of really quick uh, tips and tricks that you can use on your ATC cards, in your art journal, in your mixed media, whatever you do. Um, now, listen, please don't write me and tell me that I'm not, you know, I'm not the one who invented this. I know. And if you go back on my channel, you're going to see probably two years ago, I did the same thing. I'm updating them. I'm putting them out there for... Uh, People who are new to my channel, new to mixed media, ATC cards, what have you. And um, so, yeah, so you don't have to write me. I know there's many of these on the internet and there's many, you know, I got it. I got it. Okay. So what I did was I'm using Mod Podge and I'm using Glossy Mod Podge, which dries glossy. You know what I mean? So it's, um, it uh, doesn't dry matte. It has a very glossy finish, glass-like finish. Look at that. See that? And that's what this is as well on the top, except what this is, is I used my stencil that I used with the Delusions. Um, and I used that, and then I did the uh, gloss over it. And um, it picked up some of that color, which I like. And there you go. So these are both dry, very dry. And I'm going to turn it this way so you can see it better. So there are a couple ways I like to uh, use these on ATC cards. This is a great beginner uh, background of an ATC card to get you started. So I'm going to take, let's just take some blue and this is anything. You can use whatever you want. And I'm going to show you two different things. One is, you know, dry my brush off. I'm going to take some of this and I'm going over this and you can see it's pretty much straight. You know, there's no, not a lot of water or anything on this. So just give that a second, but then I'm going to wet my brush and I'm going to wet this and just the different, you know, kind of technique that you get a lot of water. Okay, now I think you can already see what's happening. Let me move you in. Let me move you in. Okay. And move that. You can see it's already, because of the water, it's already separating from the uh, stencil that we used with the Glossy Mod Podge. Fantastic. So, then what I like to do, now you can dry it first. It won't hurt anything. Here, I'll show you. We'll just do a little bit. Drying, 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 drying. Look, there's extra water. Goodbye, water. And that's a fun thing to do on your pages as well. Put a bunch of the uh, paint down and take your hair dryer or your blower or straw and just kind of do your thing. All right, so you can see you can dry it. It's not going to bother anything. And then I'm going to take a paper towel or a rag or whatever you have. Just your finger. It doesn't matter. Old t-shirt. You get what I'm saying. And then I'm going to go in... And I'm going to wipe. And I'm going to push hard. Oh, I'm not going to push my finger through. Yep, I'm going to push my finger through. There we go. I know, everything's moving. But what you can see is with this down here. Now, I like to spray sometimes a little more water. And I just think that helps me get a little bit more... Uh, lubrication on that. You can see it lifting up. And what happens is, as you can see, you got all your pieces that you had with the glossy Mod Podge coming up. Now this was, I only did like some of the, uh, some of it on there. So you can see different variations of it. And then here is the um, thicker paint, but If you keep pushing, it takes a minute for these, but you can see them coming up. It just needs some friction. There we go. Okay, I'm not gonna spend all day doing it. This just gives it a more distressed look. So if you don't put as much water in, you're gonna get this really cool distressed look. If you put more water in the paint, you're gonna get that cleaned up. Cause this is the same, same thing. It's all one stencil, all one application. And you can see, 
I don't have the patience right this is a second, but you can see the distress. See how distressed it looks? And then you can see on the bottom how it just it just lets all this deliciousness come forth. So it is a lot of fun, a lot of different ways, like I said, you can use it. Uh, I like it with a lot of water and sometimes I just like doing it like this because it gives you this really cool distressed look. And then because this is basically flat, it's not going to be very, uh, not very textured. You can put a uh, paper on down on top of it, a picture, whatever you want, write, and you get a really cool distressed look. Now we have this. So like I said, this is just dilutions in here with the stencil. I did not clean it off. Um, and it's the same kind of thing. So I'm going to take water again with my blue and run it over because I want the back to stain. And you can see this just comes up anyway. And then just giving it a quick clean. And look how that comes out. So you get those. Now, if these were clear, that's what this would be. You'd have the clear there, kind of like right here. So it's very cool to sit and play and to find your own, um, you know, your own kind of way of doing it and what you like. This is a great, um, like I said, background for your ATC card. You could do it on here. This is just a piece of paper that I had that I cut off. And, you know, I'm going to let these dry and I can use these, cut them down to ATC card size and use those as the ATC cards uh, as a background. So a lot of fun and very, very easy to do. And all it is is Mod Podge gloss, you know, or whatever uh, gloss that you have. Very easy. Very cool. And you can even buy paints, acrylic paints that are gloss now. Okay. So we have this. I'm going to put this over there. And then grab these two and show you just just some really cute little things all right look how cool this looks very cool three different colors and i'm sure some of you already know this and that's okay vaseline vaseline okay now if you don't have product i love having product i have crackle i have uh, all kinds of uh, different products here but i like to go back to my normal uh you know what i started with which is uh school glue and vaseline and this is one thing um i've done many videos on using school glue for crackle and this is called the peeled paint look uh if you guys have ever seen the uh distress were they distress paints peeled paint i don't know they're from ranger and you paint them on and you kind of get this kind of look well here's what you do Take a uh, base color, paint paint a base color down, um, like I did here, it was pink. And then I took a brush and some Vaseline, which you can get at the dollar store, both of them. And I brush it on in, in random places. And then I take, now you wanna let that bottom coat dry and you put then you put the Vaseline. Then you pick your next color, which I picked was blue, paint it all over. And that is where we are at here. Okay, so I painted it on, I'm gonna let it dry. I like to, everybody has different ways to do this. I like to take my heat gun for a minute and run it over because what this is going to do, it's going to melt and make it come off a little easier. You don't have to do this part. I'm just doing it to show you a different way to do it. But even still, it'll come off by itself. I'll tell you what, I won't heat this down here and I'll show you. All right. So then what I like to do is take my paper towel or whatever you're using, start over here and look, and it just comes off in the places that it was. Now I heat it over here, right? Look at that. Now I didn't heat here, so it's just your normal stuff, but you can see it's coming off. And that's because of the Vaseline underneath. And look at that. Look how cool that is. Now the fun part, take some more Vaseline on a brush and just lay it down a couple places. You can, I mean, you can see the variation. Look at this, 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 look at that. Awesome. And maybe I'll just put, oh, I don't, I hate messing up parts. Maybe I'll just put a little bit halfway through this red like that. Then let's pick another color. Let's do 
Uh, let's do pink. Why not? And I'm just going to shake it and then get it all over you because it's just how the day is going today. Uh, my poor daughter is heartbroken. She dropped her phone accidentally and it's the second time within like three months that she's cracked her screen and she's very upset. It's a shame. All right. I always feel bad, but that's just the way the day is today. It's one of those things. So then you just paint with your paintbrush. You can go over all of it again or just in spots. It doesn't matter. Leave some of it show. It doesn't matter. Then I like to real quick, either with your heat gun or your hair dryer, you can start this off to dry a little bit. Now, of course, I'm going to dry it because I don't want to sit here for, and make you guys sit here for 20 minutes while it dries, 15 minutes. It doesn't take that long, but. And sometimes I don't even let it dry all the way because I don't care if some of it comes off, you know? All right, uh, let's get to getting. All right, and I'm gonna do the same thing. And I'm just gonna wipe it. And what it does, now remember, you don't, this isn't an exact science and it's not gonna get you, you know, Think about when you go into an older house and the walls are peeling and paint it, you know, because of the paint, you can see all the different things. Here's the main color that's on top, but here's what's underneath. You know what I mean? So think about it that way. Don't get, you know, don't get too hung up. But let's say you're like, you know what? I didn't put enough down. Clearly I didn't. I'm going to take, and I'm just going to put some right here just to lighten that up a bit. And I think right there. And then what I'm going to do is take a little red again, or even blue. Let's do blue. And I'm just going to plop some there. Take my paintbrush again. Make sure it's dry. Clean it off. Make sure it's dry. Okay. And we're going to run it down, run it down. And you can see, you can just keep it like that too. You don't have to, you know, make it so uh, opaque. That's all. And then we'll leave that dry for a second. And then I'm not going to use the hair dryer or the heat gun. I'm just going to go right in. You can throw right on here if you want to. You can just keep piling up so it's this really cool texture. How cool. All right. Much. All right. And you see, it just looks very... I don't know. It's just very delicious. So I'm going to heat it up so I can get the rest of that Vaseline off. And you can see it melting right here. Look at it. You can see it. And I'll wipe that off. Oh, I love this. I could go on and on and on. And there's no mistakes. Look, see? No mistakes. Oh, I just love it. Anyway, I could sit here and play all day. But you get my drift and think how much fun. Like I said, here I did pink and then blue and then red. But then um, on there. And you can feel, like you can see, it's not... It's not greasy or anything when you're done. Do you know what I mean? And that's why I like to use some sort of heat to even just take it off any of the extra Vaseline. Very fun. 